As you know, what is life? If there's no water, there's no life. Haiti is a country that is very rich in water resources. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, there are not measures that are being taken to use this, those resources properly so everyone in the country can have water. And you know, the majority of the people in Haiti does not have access to good and clean water. And that's one of the reasons we have so many people that are being infected with diseases that are related with bad water condition and sanitation. And the outbreak cholera started here in 2010. Thousands of people died, and all of that is because of um, not having good quality water to drink. To fight against the cholera, we must provide a lot of water. We must provide also sanitation program and also hygiene promotion. When we started entering in some communities, working in some community, we have been able to reduce that a lot. Uh, there was a community that we started working where they had a lot of cases of uh, cholera last year, and this year we have zero cases of cholera. We'll focus on quality, on quantity, and the distance, to reduce the distance. If you provide water very far, people will not go there. They will look where they can get water near in the river. You go to a river right now, any place you see the water is running, people are washing their car here, other people are washing their clothes downstream, and other people are taking their, bed, uh, taking their shower downstream. And, and on the side, you see they dig a little hole, and then the water comes clear, this is what people are using to drink. If you have the time to drive around, go ahead, around to see, you can see people are taking their bath in the open air, especially women are taking the bath in the river with no dignity. With the work of NCA, we've been able to do spring catchment and construct a private shower for women and men separately, where the women in the community and children, they can regain their dignity. Some of the kids are still taking their shower here in the river, in the dirty water. Some of them will tell you that I've been taking my shower here all my life. Nothing ever happened to me. And that is why it's so important, not only when you provide good water to the people, hygiene education is very important because it's one of the most difficult things to do to get the people to change their behavior. So you cannot supply good water without accompanying this with hygiene, education, and, and, and sanitation. The thing is, NC is not coming here to do the job themselves. What they do, they work with the community, we enforce their capacity to do the job, and they can be self-dependent they can continue to do the job themselves. I think that uh, uh, Norway, NCA, must add more uh, focus in uh, WASH program in Haiti. I must tell you that NCA in Haiti will make the difference. I'm serious. We make the difference. Because when we start working somewhere, people see that we're giving results and we have good project. Okay, that lasts that last long. So they are calling us everywhere. They're calling NCA, can you come and work with us? Can you come and do this for us? But unfortunately, we don't have enough capacity, uh, resources, economic resources to help everybody. I hope that NCA can stay in Haiti much, much longer. Um, that That is that was something that I think that with in the long term, people will will really have carry NCA in their heart in Haiti. Yeah.